Welcome back, and uh, it's been about a week and a half since I shot my last video with the uh, Elecraft KX2. As you can see here, it's all complete, and um, I did mention in the last video that the uh, roofing filters had to be calibrated. Now, when I looked further into it and uh, posted up on my blog that that was my next step, I had some uh, ham radio operators who have the KX3 uh, email me saying that the roofing filter no longer has to be calibrated. It's been done at the factory. I contacted Elecraft and they agreed, so that's a bonus. It gets all um, calibrated at the uh, factory and it's just a basic matter of plugging it into the KX3 and off you go. So here's the unit. You'll notice down here there, uh, there is no KXPD3, the little keyer unit on here. Uh, they're on back order right now at Elecraft. They had to do some modification to them. They sent them out and uh, they're coming back with a different design in uh, the internals of the KX uh, uh, PD3. And I just talked to Elecraft today and that should be shipped out to me within the next week or two. Also on the side here, what they recommend is you got your BNC connector here coming out the side of the radio. Elecraft recommends getting the 90 degree bend here so there's not much stress put on the the uh, BNC connector that's on the radio. So it's on a nice 90 degree angle, it swivels back and forth with the coax attached. Also on here I've got my power supply hooked up and my um, USB cable hooked up to the computer. So I have computer control of the radio as well. Now let's just go over here, push these two buttons and turn it on. There we go. So we've done the smoke test last week, everything went fine, turned the power on and uh, everything went well as you can see. The uh, VFO knob here is a bit stiff, I have to do an adjustment inside here with a, an Allen key, raise the knob up a bit so that uh, it's not quite as uh, hard to turn here when you've got your finger in the dimple. But that's a minor thing that we can uh, live with. The uh, antenna tuner, the ATU unit works well, I have it hooked up to my um, Alpha Delta DXEE in the uh, attic uh, dipole and uh, it tunes very well brings everything down to actually 1.1 to 1 at the radio here so now the uh, KX3 is all hooked up as I said they got the antenna on it's got the computer control with the uh, a Mac computer which is new for me I've done all my uh, uh, radio controls through uh, Windows and I wanted to put this one up on a Mac and see how that worked. It was a bit of a learning curve, but uh, we'll just bring it up here and show you. There's the uh, the Mac screen. Move you over a bit. Hope I don't get you dizzy. This is um, Mac Logger DX. Now it's not free. Um, it's uh, costs in around the hundred dollar range, but I've been having uh, a couple of questions with it when I was hooking it up to the KX3 with regards to getting it to uh, communicate with the radio. And the fella Don, who owns the uh, Mac Logger software, got back to me literally within five minutes each time I asked a question um, on the reflector with the information. And now it's up and running, so I can more or less I have a all of my cluster spots here. There's a little window up here to enter in your um, information when you make a contact. It also has logging software and so on. But what I'll do is. Uh, with these here, all you do is double click on here and your rig will change to that frequency and if there's an offset it will also um, put the offset onto the radio. So we'll go back down here to the, there we are, to the KX3 and I'll just do some changes here. There you go, you see it's changed to 21 megs. Um, we'll go back over let's say here to uh, 30 meters and there you go. So you see you got rig control with the Mac program, uh, Mac Logger DX. Now, it is a learning curve for me and I haven't got all the options on the KX3 sorted out yet or on um, the Mac Logger Mac program. But up to this point, everything in the, the rig's working fine. Just gotta start reading the manual. But thanks very much for watching all these videos. And uh, if you have any questions, email me at ve3wdm at hotmail.com. We'll see what we can do, and uh, I'm going to produce a few more videos about the KX3 in the future with some of the um, options 
and some of the things it can do, but first I just have to learn what it can do. Well, thanks very much for dropping by and for checking out the video. Have a good day.